Hello, folks. Welcome back to... Bloody hell, this music. <laughs> Terrifying. Um, anyway, yeah, this is Fracking Universe. Um, uh, last time we um, we did all the Kevin quests and got to the stage where we could theoretically make an Atom Smasher, but it was just chaos. It required a billion of everything. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. What we're going to do instead is literally just take one of Grand Valiant's ideas from the comments of the previous episode. We're going to build nuclear power for our base, which will also require us to make an atmospheric regulator to stop us getting poisoned with stuff. I'm going to be careful because I've got rocket boots on, and you can come a cropper with that. So what I'm here for, this this is an icy waste planet. I want to get some prism shards plus um, general just like agisalt, ferrosium, and violium because we will need all those to get the atmospheric regulator up and running. Uh, the pris yeah, the prism shards will turn into prisolite, which will tur eventually turn into tritanium, which we haven't got quite that much of. So for, for now, we just have to start um, completely destroying everything of, the, of this planet. And we've got, I think, other things like Agisalt, we've got about 10 or 15 each of those. It's not enough, because we'll need quite a lot. I'm actually getting bashed in by rogue bits of ice. So as long as I get... Oh, God, there's Cinnabar as well, which is actually something that we probably don't have much of. Uh, Protection-wise, I have on my phase armor again. Plus, also, my EPP is field generator, which does seem to be resisting... I seem to be okay with the cold. Actually, what is the, what's the, the augment? A rebreather. So I'm not quite, admittedly, I'm not quite sure why I'm actually immune to the cold at the moment, but I am. I'm not dead, which is the main thing. Look at these huge, huge pockets of this stuff. And prism shards you find in ice. Um, but I haven't actually, oh, hello. I didn't actually explore much of the planet at all, did I? I have come across nice little basey booze of some description. This will be a good respite from the weather. Hang on, what's, what are you? Oh, yes, you're some green stuff, which is also what we want. I'm not quite sure where the agisalt is. No, not the actual salt. Oh, they're prism shards. Oh my guarding dicks! Ow. Well, that was a thing. This is not respite. This is re-piss. Uh, what there? What even was that thing? And look at you! There's no wonder you're upstairs. Considering you've got lava bombs in your bloody basement. I'm staying in here now. I'm hiding. I'm not sure what is in there. It's, actually, I think that's just a basic... Uh, a, a, a piss tank. They were just in piss. Ew. Anyway, never mind about that. Steal his radiator. Um, Densinium helm. So, f to deal with the cold. Densinium helm. That's actually a, not very pleasant for me to do. Uh, we're not really here to do that quest, but let's see if I can actually do it. I'll give us a flag. A1. There. <laughs> now I'll remember where we are. And also, I'll, I'll see what we've actually... I mean, let's go get some prismic nonsense first. Oh god, it's getting really dark, though. I haven't got anything glowy at all. Oh! Yeah, let's... Let's have a quick look around the planet, because there might be... As I say, um, it, I think you can get prism shards quite close to the surface, which is handy. It's just that it's so harmful at the moment, this place. All these ice bits falling onto my noggin. I can't see a bloody thing. Sod it. We're out of here. All those weird, poofy giraffe things go flapping about the place and making clouds of nonsense as well. That's that's a reaver. So, by the way, this planet uh, the, is a small icy waste planet. It's n really near the unknown planet, which I was hovering above in the previous episode for reasons I can't remember. Now, someone else um, pointed out in the comments that um, that unknown artifact that I think I got from Kevin, um, you can sell that for absolutely wadges of cash. Um, where is it? Have I got it still? I think I have somewhere. There it is. Um, the pixel amount is 124 million quid. So that won't sell for that amount. It'll be like a quarter of that, I think. But that's a chunk of change. I'm going to put it... I'm not actually going to do anything with that yet. I really want the money on me. I don't want to carry around a lot of cash in case I get mugged or killed or something. Um, let's... I don't think I've got enough agisalt and everything yet, but I'll, I'll transfer what we've got into proper stuff. Here we go. 19, 13... 27, so I'll put that to what I've got in here. In fact, let's get this as well, because then we'll be able to convert it all. All the good stuff. Bloody hell, I've got a load of this stuff. Right, convert. And... So we've got absolutely bucket loads of this now. That should be enough. Let's go and see what the, regula um, the atmospheric regulator actually needs. 
Um, I think I actually first have to craft the atmospheric filter. Um, I'm guessing. About advanced alloy, gold bar, and advanced processor. Yeah, there was a bit of um, extra crafting to get the chains all sorted. But I've got everything um, to make a thing. But it's gone. Um, wrong thing. <laughs> there we go. Right, atmospheric filter. So the advanced alloy. Um, and actually, yeah, I had to craft some advanced processors as well, but all done now. Learn to craft regeneration matrix and also the atmospheric regulator. What's a regen matrix then? Oh, it's a healing thing. Requiring... Ah, reasonable stuff, actually. We may actually do that, because what Grim Valiant suggested is making a, a nuclear room, probably like round here or something, which I think we'll do that. I also need to eat, don't I? I, don't think, I think I might have to pay a visit to the Milcarium. I've got a couple of bottles in storage, but... Oh, actually, this is not the... Is that the right one? Have the cows stopped laying? Uh-oh. I wonder if there's um, no food. Oh, there's plenty of food. Oh, dicks. Oh, that hurt. Is that light bleeding? Self can- Oh, I'm eating myself. Okay. That's because of the madness. Unfortunately, I've got a shit ton of madness. So, the cows are no longer laying milk. They're absolute shit farces. Hmm. Not sure what I'm going to do about that. A bit of research in there. Oh, there's, water, there's water still coming in, but the cows... Oh, what the hell? Oh, no, it's, it's these. It's these, these lads, isn't it? Maybe they Maybe I've got the wrong food in. Yeah. I'll go back to eating rat. Why not? Delicious rat. I'm not even going to cook it. I'm just going to chow on down. There. That used to be my full diet, cooked rat. But that was ages ago. Right, anyway, let's get on with it. I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I'm um, fully healed now. So, to get the atmospheric regulator, we will need a bunch more stuff. A titanium, light, oh god, liquid deuterium, metallic hydrogen, telebrium, and dense alloy. The, the, the dense alloy is why I was getting all the um, agisalt and everything. Uh, let's see what we've got. I think we've already got quite a bit. Yeah, here we go. But we, don't, we need 50 to make the atmospheric regulator. Um, let's go over here. This is where we need to actually craft the dense, the rest of the dense, um, uh, um, dense alloy. We can make a decent whack of this, actually. We could, let's make, uh, was it twins? Probably. I'm sure we've got. I'm sure we've got enough now. A oh, forty-seven balls. Let's make a bit of excess so we can stick some in the in storage. Right, so we've done that for that. Uh, now we need tritanium, which is why we need the prism shards. And we got bugger all of those, which is a shame. But we'll go and get some. I think we've got probably some in storage, but not enough. Prism shard. We get five. That's not enough. Um, we'll need to get the tritanium. We also need triangulium, durasteel, and lead, which I'll. Get off the camera. Liquid deuterium and metallic hydrogen should be fun, though. And um, we've tried getting this before. I think. I um, mean, may actually be as easy. I mean, to get deuterium, I think it may just be as maybe easy enough just to put water into here. I think that gets it. I'm not 100 sure if that's the case, but also the power situation's gone a bit weird. There's something wrong with this that keeps on. Making this, I have to unwire and rewire stuff, and it mysteriously starts working again. So there's something. There's something. I'm not quite sure what it is, if it's a bug or it's just my setup is not quite right, but whatever. Anyway, look, we are actually getting deuterium out of this. Not very much, but it's going to do the job, because it's, getting, it's probably going to give us more stuff than we've done previously. So let me just fill this up with gunk. Water gunk. May as well go, go to here as well. Look, they're all getting pissy. I, I think I will actually have to sort out the food in a bit. Anyway, we'll take, put more water into here. We've got so much water. What's that? A pike, pike right foundation block. That's useful. We're not getting deuterium very fast. Got some more here. And I think if I put this, if I actually put this back into the centrifuge, that might actually give us the liquid deuterium. Oh, someone also pointed out that I can actually buy, if I wanted to um, take the money that I got from the unknown artifact, I could then spend it on buying red matter from... I think one of these shops. And plus also I noticed that this does sell phase gel stuff, whatever, for reasonable but not too expensive. Well there is actually quite expensive. But if you had a million pounds or whatever, I'll easily be able to afford that. So I can also get dark matter there, I think. Is that dark matter? Yeah, I can get dark matter as well, which is not super expensive. But that means I could really get make some 
uh, neutronium, what the hell it's called, an anti-neutronium, to make, eventually make that Atom Smasher, but it'll be a whole thing. You don't want to see me craft all that nonsense. Or I could just admin it in at some point. But, corn. So, um, I really could have done with the corn. I think I might just have to grow some more or something like that. I mean, it's not super important, it's just my... I just, I just want to keep my, my milk on tap. Speaking of which, I think I will actually, um, whilst I'm here, I'll do some more prism shard nonsense. Because it should be, should be getting some in the ice here. Irritatingly, we, um, it's dark again. Oh god, there's stuff everywhere. What sort of a place is this? Is this a... Oh, this is not an evil place. Oh, I'm, I went up in the air. I think there might be a lift. I was going to say, there might be a lift here, but I don't think there is. Oh, it's just stairs. Okay, a fridge full of corn? No. Although, there's a little kitcheny poos. None of the places I actually go to anymore. I seem to have any... There's a codex. But it's not... It's not particularly loot-heavy, these places. That's a radio. Oh, brain in, oh, a brain in a jar! That actually, is actually useful these days. Right, let's get my digger out. We should have enough violium and all that sort of stuff. There's a chesty poo down there. Mm -hmm. Usual gunk. More cinnabar. I think I'll actually tonk this lad. His, his aura is not very nice. I'm going to shoot his face off. There we go. Oh, God, it's hard. Hard work getting through this iceness. I've probably seen loads of... Ow! Oh! I've probably seen lots of prismic shards without even noticing them. So I haven't done brilliantly with the prism shards. I think a huge amount. But what I will do, is, um, whilst I remember, is to do with the Densinium Helm. Uh, which I think, presumably, is going to be in here. Densinium... Oh, there it is. Did you... Densinium Helm requires Densinium, Solarium, and Trite... Thingy, me, Bob. Solarium and Trite. Oh, we haven't got any of that. Oh, that's, that's awkward. Unless I've got some on me. I don't think I have. That might have to wait. That's a bit of a, bit of a pain to get that. We'll have to go somewhere else to get that. Um, some, somewhere hot, probably. Is this working? I think it is. I got some deuterium, so let's just quickly pause that just for a second and put the deuterium back through and try and get the liquid out of it. Liquid metallic hydrogen and tritium. That's all we're getting. We need that. A tritium. Actually, what happens if you put that through? Oh, you get metallic hydrogen out of it. Oh, <laughs> that's not ideal. So that's definitely not the best way of doing it, is it? Uh, I don't think we, actually, we didn't actually get any liquid deuterium at all. I think we, we, we did all this in the previous episode and it was a bit of a faff. I thought I'd found a better way by now, but apparently not. Yeah. This is going to take a bit of time, isn't it? Um, well, I'll put the water back through because it looks like that can be continuing. Where is it? No. Boop, boop, boop. A bit more with the deuterium. Um, right, this is going to take a bit of time, isn't it? We also need Telebrium, but that shouldn't prove difficult, because I think I'd, I've probably got the ore somewhere for that. So I'm just digging out a little bit of extra room underneath. Oh, that's more like it. Got to be careful not to destroy the blocks here. Otherwise, all my machines will explode or something. I think I might actually use my normal one for this bit. There we go. Skulls are plenty. So I don't know how big this room's going to need to be. Let's make it a little bigger. Oh, there's a copper, a copper ore node there, which I've just totally... Oh, God. Well, that's, a, that's a way of digging things out, I guess. Boop, 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 boop. Really well... After... Oh, shit, the door's gone. Oh, well. <laughs> Brock the door. Hmm. <laughs> this is precision blasting here. I really should have done this for all of it, because then it would have taken out the background quite nicely. Okay, let's just take this out. And we'll call most... Oh, shit! Well, I almost blew up the the centrifuge. God, this is dangerous work. Do I have any decent... Oh, we really haven't now. I need... I need... Actually, what I do need to do is clear my inventory. Let's, let's go and sort a few things out. So I made a, myself a little room using, I think, pressurised Joe steel. There's a prism... Prism crystal lying on the ground. Why is that? 
Has it? I, was a, I think this might have overspilled. Oh, that's good because that that came out of the uh, the chromatic dirt I was um, faffing it around with. That's good. So, so there is some being produced out of that. The water, meanwhile, is doing the business. I think oh, the water's almost done. So let's put the deuterium back into there, which I'm sure is completely inefficient and wrong. I also need to make sure that I keep on using the blast furnace instead of the, the normal furnace, just so we actually get the best stuff, which I have been doing here. Let's put the isogen ore in there. So as well as the isogen bar, we also get, hopefully, some side effects as well. well in this case, just crappy old crystal. Yeah, it'll do. No prismic shards, though. Although we actually did, we could put these through and get the, pris, the, the prismite stars, as well as grav liquid and oxygen. Yeah, and oxygen. Which is, I guess, nice for some of it. Let's put that in there as well. Get some iodine as side effects as well. And thorium. Ooh. Got a thorium rod or two. Maybe get some side effects out of that. Oh! Unstable particles! That's not bad. That's a good side effect, isn't it? I'm going to get one now. So a minor diversion. Just because I um, I came to a cyberspear trying to find some extra liquid. Um, I'm here, and I just noticed that I, I, whilst killing a few of these lads, uh, I did pick up a cadaver, which means we will be able to use our autopsy table properly for the first time. We made that ages ago. Oh, shit, I'm actually half dead. <laughs> sort myself out, there we go. Hup. None of these lads are too tough. Riot shield. Not a huge amount of other stuff to get to be got from here, but... All lovely. I'm trying to get the cadaver, because I've got two. Oh shit. Hang on. Just die. And you. Still haven't got... No, no more cadavers, but we've got two. Also some bunker busters. Ooh, how very wormsy. Right, I'm out of here. Didn't sod the liquid. Right, base... So let's just try this autopsy table thing, just because I, I just remember that it requiring, well, that sort of thing. But it didn't really give us any instructions how to use it. I think it's here. Here it is. Okay, let's bung in a body. Where was that? It's all bloody collars. I'm picking up so many collars. I don't know where... Oh, there they are. There's, there's one. Oh, I only picked up one, did I? Oh, there's two. It's just that they are separate. Well, it's accepted it. Looks like the other one is probably... Oh! That's burned... A l gives us a lot of stuff. We've got loads of research and loads of madness. And loads of blood. Epidermis, the skin from a body. Oh, it looks like the, the rest of the stuff's just come in. Yeah, so the cadavers do yield quite a lot of good stuff, including brains. Fresh brains. Ooh. That could be useful for... I have no idea what. I mean, why would you put the brains back in? Oh, it does something. But what? What would it give us? Oh, my research. Oh, oh inferior brain. Oh, all right, all right, all right. That's not, um, that's not great, but it'll do. Right, so at going rate, it was going to take a couple of hours. So I have, um, I'm not proud of this, but I have cheated in a little bit of the um, uh, liquid deuterium. Um, it was going to take another couple of hours, I thought. No. Nah. So we should actually have, we've got everything now because I've done all the telebrium stuff and all that. And um, so that's all good to go. Still getting good stuff out of here. Now everything's reconnected. So this should be this should get us the atmospheric regulator. Here it is. All the good stuff. That requires 120 watts of power. This is where we actually do need uh, all the power in the world because we haven't got enough. But hopefully, the, um, if we add a couple of nuclear generators, that should actually sort that out. This might be huge. Oh tits. Grim Valiant was right. You, you, you need a huge area. Okay, this is going to have to go... We're going to have to go deeper. In fact, what I'll probably do... I won't make the entire room bigger. I shall... Just make this area just here. Um, Like a little... Oh, God, that made a crunchy noise. Just make this area just like a little sinky area, which we can expand into. Um, do I have any more of this stuff? I don't really have very much of this. Or was it a pressurised Jura steel? It's not huge amounts of it. I'm not even sure where I got this, <laughs> frankly. 
This could be the, said this. I could say the same about most things in this. It just seems to appear in my inventory. Oh, got the fil the atmospheric filter as well. That's much smaller. Right, that just needs a little bit of extra room, and then we we should be good to go. So it's a bit of a rough and ready room, but whatever. And we've also remembered to um, finally plant some corn up there. So I will be able to start feeding my cattle again. Not that we really need to hugely, but I thought I might as well. Does that not fit? I think I just need to get a bit closer. There we go. Nice. Now we ha we do actually have to power the bl bloody thing. Just a little dot there. So we can't... There's no point in trying to hook it up yet. We need. We still need that, what, 200 watts of power? Or 200 somethings of power. So we're making a nuclear thing. Fission reactor. Um, yeah, advanced delay. I don't think we need them. I think we can make that easy enough. Uh, I've, just, I've made a bunch of nuclear cores, which kind of like requires uranium and a bunch of other stuff as well. Um, we can only make one of these at the moment. Yes, we can. We just need a bit more advanced alloy. Oh, hello. Um, apparently, that was a quest that we were doing <laughs> a long time ago. We haven't done the densinium thing yet, but that's that's the thing because of the whole solarium. But yeah, good. We've got a um, a unique. T oh, what's the tech? A unique, powerful crew member that provides a huge 75% fuel boost to fuel efficiency. Oh, okay. I'm actually going to do that. We forgot. Where's he gone? Where's it? My inventory is just too full now. Oh, there you go. Fancy employing me? Yeah, I right know. Get to the ship, you little twat. So we've got one fission reactor. I can't remember how um, powerful this is. Oh, God, I picked up loads of um, codexes from a, a little elder chest. I think that was off camera. Anyway. Now the thing with this is um, it is going to start nuclearizing things. That's why we've got the atmospheric generator there in the first place. Um, to actually negate the effects of radiation and stuff. At least in theory. Now this is now going to need to um, connect up, isn't it? To all the, the gubs. So... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We also need to put stuff in there. So we'll need a way of like making lots of uranium. And um, this goes into... Oh god, it goes into... There. There we go. The only trouble is we, um... Are going to need this... We don't really want this happening when this isn't fully working. And can we actually scan this? We've got, oh, it only requires 120. I thought it was 200. Now this can provide between 4 and 80. Higher power will be highly radioactive. So... Possibly could do with another one of these, just to make sure that we have got the right power. I'm not sure, I'm not sure for how, how much we'll actually need, but we'll bung in a rod. Let's see what rods we've actually... We've got, I think we've got a load of uranium at the moment. Yeah, we've got 23, so that should. Well, let's see how much power that gives us, if we bung in that. Is it going to work? I remember, I remember vaguely make, making this on uh, pre uh, in a previous season, and it was a bit of a f weird thing. But it is making, it's, it's kind of like glowing. It's, it's doing something. I think we're, we're I think we're putting pow new power into there. Well, that might just be because it's daytime and the solar panels are working. I may need some backup solar. Although the it's, it's more about the battery output, I think maybe. I don't know. So let's connect. The, this up to the grid. Oh, hello! It's, it's it's working. I'll probably have to put a radiation shield on at some point. So this just needs power, I guess. Um, so this needs to go into there. Yeah, look, it's warming up now. But the, the atmospheric generator won't start really going for a while yet. Am I burning? I am, yes. We may need to go and put on a radiation suit. Or some kind of EPP or something. I can't remember what does what now. We've got a radioactive barrier, but uh, hang on. Oh my, that's, that should be enough. Although that field generator theoretically provides me from radiation, so I don't really need. I don't think I need to change. The trouble is, I am getting radiation burn, so I think I need something else as well. Some other kind of protection, but once this is, I say, once this is running, it should it should be okay. And it's only when I get really close to this where things go particularly bad. Now, has it has it worked? 
Well, it's not giving us huge amounts of power, is it? It's not giving us enough. I wonder what else I can... What other rods I can put in there? I so said I did have the um, the, the tritium. I'm not quite sure that's actually going to be any good. I'm not sure how radioactive that actually is. We'll see. I'll leave it in there for a while because it does seem to take a bit of time. So it's only like two radiations, so surely my my thing should be protecting me against that. Let's have a look at the stats. Not you. Not you either. Not you either. Not you either. That's it. <laughs> Now, radiation. We're not 25% radiation. That's actually not a huge amount of protection against radiation, so I think we would need a little more. Especially if we get more radioactive as we go along. So maybe if I change... Maybe if I take this out... Why isn't that... Oh yes, good. <laughs> literally just had to press that. Fine. Right, put that in there. So hopefully that should give us an extra boost to our stuff. Yeah, it's up to 50% now. So now let's see what's going on. Oh, we've got it up to 84 now. Ow. We've only got 25% radiation. Yeah, extremely. Yeah, it's not great. It's not really hurting me that much, though, to be fair. In fact, it's not, it might not even be hurting me at all. It may be just making a fizzy noise thinking about it. I mean, it's not actually taking anything off me, is it? I hope. But yeah, this is still not working, so... I think maybe... I would say I do want another nuclear thing, so let me rustle one up. I think I'll just have to craft a bit of advanced LA and we should be good. So, nearly there. I mean, the, the, the new reactor's coming up to speed. I put thorium in there. I'm not quite sure how good that is. Also a bit of plutonium. I'm not sure I'm not even sure thorium actually well it should do, it's, it's radioactive. And then this is slowly but surely working its way through. We seem to get um tritium as a side effect from this process, so I can put that back in. But it's now looking like I'll need some additional oomph. Like some a good solar tower might be useful. So I've um, added a couple of extra solar arrays. Um, I could also make, apparently, um, the next stage up, the quantum reactor, which apparently is a match clean energy up to 128 watts. So I could just replace that entirely. I'm not quite sure what fuel it'll need. But this requires, well, stuff that we've got, essentially. We just need to take one fission reactor away. Give, 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 give. I haven't got absolutely no room at all, ever. God damn it. Just chuck away my stuff there. Toxic bloody waste. Right, so I just need to craft this and I've got a quantum bloody thingy-me-bob. I think it's the end of the chain for this sort of thing. This might need a bit more space. Oh no! Fits. Fits perfectly. Goes into the grid. There. I'm not sure this... Um, I'm not sure the, the solar power is actually... Uh, yeah, I think it is. Some things aren't quite right, I think, with everything. But hey, what else is new? Shadow gas, blah blah blah. Don't even need there. So I, ne I need to find a, a, a power to go into here now. Something good. Um, I could put that one stick of ultronium I've got in there. <laughs> Let's put the thorium in there, see if that works. Well, it does work. It's, it seems to be working immediately. But maybe this is just filling up the batteries and not really... Mm. So I added a, a couple of extra bigger batteries there. I um, don't know if that did it, but suddenly the um, the thing started to hum. And obviously it's now working. I'm still getting, radi well, getting radiation burn from here. What have we got? Um, thorium. It's basically thorium all around at the moment. Um, so, I go over here. And there is actually... Um, augment slots. Which we can put things in, I guess? I mean, there's a rebreather, which we don't really need much on this planet. I know it's, it's, it's a bit more of just like an exercise in doing it rather than an actual need to do it, but... I mean, we could put in like a healing thing, which I, I picked up at some point. So apparently it's now... It's now giving us some sort of effect. I've actually got full health. I wonder if I'm, the healing's actually working. Hang on. I'm not quite sure if this is actually 
Oop, there we go. So I am I am being healed. I'm not quite sure if it's actually by the, the atmospheric generator or not. Because it might be... What EPP have I got on? Fuel generator. That should be okay. What other EPPs then we can actually do? I'm presuming this is actually how it works. I might be tricking myself here. Hang on, I can look in here. I mean, there really isn't anything that we actually need here. A dead animal. Poison resistance. Useful. I wonder if you can actually... No, I should better not put that in. <laughs> if I put that into the atmospheric generator, that'll just kill me. I won't be able to get it out again. Let's try the jumping power one. And also, well, theoretically that. See if that actually works. I don't know if... I think you have to be really quite close to the generator. The radiation burn thing. I've got a radiation shield thing here. I'm not quite sure if it's actually going to work. Let's, let's put the jumping power thing there. Oh, hello. That feels like a bigger jump. Let's double check. I think it's not quite as instantaneous. Oh, there we go. Because I think, I think the 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 generation takes a bit of time to work or just like disperse. So yeah, now I can actually jump up that much. So that is working. So the the health is probably working as well. And the radiation shield ain't. That seems to be doing bugger all. Well, against the burn anyway, which wasn't actually hurting me anyway. So. I'm not, I'm not really that bothered by it, to be honest. But yeah, it means you can put all the augments in there and get the, all the good juju out of it all. The jumping effect is nice. I'm going to leave that in, because I like bouncing around like a pillock. Yeah. And this seems to be clean. I'm not sure if this is... The quantum reactor actually hurts me. I think only this one does. So if I got rid of this and put in another quantum reactor, uh, we'd be laughing and we'd have to worry about the radiation stuff anyway. But... Anyway, yeah, I might try out with a few more augments, see if we can actually craft any more, but, um, the, the, yeah, I'm not going to do it now. I think this has gone on long enough and we all need to go home. So thanks for watching, as usual. Uh, check out my Patreon link if you want to support us, or my Buy Me A Coffee link if you want to support us on a, on a more one-off basis. Uh, links in the description, and I'll see you back ne next time for another episode. Uh, bye for now.